Is supersizing your business the crux of the matter? Sharon Hornells from here. Our idiom, our expression today, our spiritual related idiom and expression is crux of the matter. Now this is a very old idiom, a very old expression. It's from Latin in the 1800s meaning cross. The word crux means cross in Latin, thus the cross. But in the 1500s, a heart, the heart of the matter or the most important part, the vital piece of a puzzle, the difficult uh, piece of something in England in the 1500s was uh, also the crux of the matter or the heart of the matter. So it's been around in some sh shape or form since the 1500s. Hundreds of years people have been thinking about the most important part of something. A problem, an issue, a project, a puzzle, etc. So how does this apply to our business? Number one is growing and supersizing your business one of the most important things in your life. Is it the crux of your existence, the crux of the matter when it comes to your life? Is it a primary focus and primary driver of your life? Yes or no, only you can answer that. Uh, so how do we get at the crux of the matter and what does it mean as we're growing and building our business? Number one, is it your primary driver in life? Yes or no? And it doesn't have to be, but we have to structure things so that it is at least a priority and we're doing the things we need to do in order to grow and build and supersize our business. So where else might the crux of something be important or show up? I think of immediately key performance indicators or KPIs. There are a few things as owners and operators and managers and leaders that we want to pay attention to as we're growing and building our business. It's different for each business. It's different for each industry. It's different for your unique business than it is for other people. And you know what it is. Maybe it's uh, uh, your key performance indicator for bringing new people into your business is the number of sales calls that your sales team makes. Or maybe it's, uh, pro to me, I always look at bottom line profits. That's my key performance indicator. Are we growing or are we declining? But that doesn't work for all businesses or for all situations. Maybe it's, uh, depending on what your role is, maybe it's production of a certain number of units or uh, things like that. So what's your key performance indicator? Do you have at least one thing that you're looking at and you're tracking and you're trending over time to make sure you're moving in the right direction? Another way to look at uh, the crux of the matter is if we're doing projects, a lot of time we have milestone charts. Are we meeting our deadlines? Are we meeting the milestones that are required in order for the project to perform and complete on time? Uh, root cause analysis to problems when we're looking for solutions. Are we solving the root cause? The crux of the matter is the root cause, not all the symptoms of the problems that are, are showing up in our business. A lot of times uh, cultural issues, cultural challenges, things that have accidentally grown up in the culture of our business are actually the root cause of a problem or a situation, but we're so busy looking at the symptoms of it that we don't dig deep enough to find the root cause. And so different symptoms will just keep popping up. Different problems will keep popping up, but they all have the same root cause. And if we eliminate that root cause, all of a sudden, that being the crux of the matter, that being the true problem, once we address that and solve that, all kinds of other ancillary problems and things go away. Uh, the crux of the matter is the central theme or topic. It's, it's to me, it's your one thing. What is your one thing that your business does for other people? What is the one problem you solve? What is your one area of focus? Uh, for some of us, it's really easy to see other people's thing, their one thing. Uh, and for others, it's not so easy. So I would love if you would share in the comments below, what is your one thing, your one primary focus or topic that you address in your business? All right. Have an awesome day. Love to know your experience with this particular idiom. I don't believe I've ever said, except when covering idioms, well, this is the crux of the matter. I've definitely said root cause hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of times in my life, but I don't think I've ever said, well, this is the crux of the matter. So wondering if you have. Have an awesome day and I'll of course be with you tomorrow for another spirit related idiom to coincide with this year's BU 365 day challenge, our annual challenge to do one thing every day that improves us in the different areas and aspects of our life. We're, we're doing that along the life framework and one of the segments of the life framework is our spiritual well-being, our spiritual health. So that's why we're talking about spiritual idioms this particular month. 
Have an awesome day, and I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.